Dear students, now we will see working of P channel JFT. Now if you see a P channel JFT, it is a P type semiconductor bar. It is a P type semiconductor bar in which a small N type semiconductor is induced. N type semiconductor is induced. And this both N type semiconductors are internally connected. They are internally connected and that terminal is called as that terminal is called as gate. That terminal is called as gate. And in the P type, on the top you will be having drain, terminal drain, and below you will be having terminal source. Terminal source. Okay. Now because it is a P type semiconductor, the current which is flowing is because of the majority charge carrier holes. Holes are going to flow. Holes are going to flow from source to drain. Holes are going to flow from source to drain. But if I want holes to flow from source to drain, that means at the source I should have some repelling force action and at the drain I should have some attracting force action. So that can be done by a voltage source. Voltage source. Okay. So you can apply a voltage source here. If you want to repel this P type, then you should have a positive supply here. Negative, positive, negative. And if you want to attract this, you should have a negative supply here. So this is your voltage between drain and source. VDS. Similarly, the voltage between gate and source will be such that the depletion region, whatever you have, should go on increasing afterwards. So you should have a reverse bias voltage over here. So if you want to have a reverse bias voltage here, N should be connected to positive of a battery. Okay. And that should be variable. That should be variable. So this is your voltage between gate and source. Okay. Now initially, you can keep VGS zero and VDS zero. That time no holes will flow from source to drain. So current ID which will flow like this, current ID which will flow from source to drain will be zero. But as you increase this VDS and once it reaches a pinch of voltage or above that, then a maximum drain current which remains constant will flow from source to drain. So in that case the ID that is current will be maximum but it will remain constant at that voltage and then after that there will be no effect of VDS on the current which is flowing. Now this will be the current flowing between source and drain. Now here students, as we increase this voltage VGS, that is voltage between gate and source, the depletion layer here will increase. This will increase. As we increase the VGS, the reverse bias is increasing. This is reverse bias. Reverse bias will increase. So depletion layer of the PN junction will go on increasing and the width will become small. Width of the channel will become small. So the number of majority charge carrier holes which are going from source to drain will decrease. Will go on decreasing because this width will become small. This lane will become small and it will allow only a few charge carriers to pass through it. That means when VGS is equal to zero, the width is more, many charge carriers are passing. But as you increase the VGS, the width will increase and the channel will become uh, very less. The channel width will become very less and very few holes will pass from source to drain. So as we increase the voltage between gate and source, the drain current will decrease. The charge carriers from source to drain will decrease. This is the control of the gate terminal on the working of JFT.